Hey guys, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'll be reviewing a fragrance from House of Perfumes de Marley, PDM, as uh, popularly known. It's a very beautiful house. It's a niche house, and uh, I think they're located in UK. They're based in England. But uh, I, I think the fragrance are made in France, probably. Mm, should have checked. Yes, made in France. It's written there. So it's going to be a sample review, as you can see. This is the gift also, once again, from Shafi Bhai. So I dedicate once again this uh, episode to Shafi Bhai. He was generous enough to send me a bunch of uh, bottles that are vintage as well as two beautiful samples from Parfums de Marley. One was Nisian, which I reviewed, and this is Carlisle. So the thing is, you know, some of you are wondering, Joy is doing all suddenly to the niche and, you know, like I'm buying some niche and higher end designer. What's up with that? I just want to clarify something. I have nothing. It's not like, oh, I'm done with my designers, you know, or I'm just like, how to say upgrading to niche game it's nothing like that I, if i find something interesting from niche game that's been released i would buy that i would get a, i would get that and review it as well so fragrances are pure love for me if i like the way they smell i review them if i think they're bottle worthy i buy them right so it's i'm not prejudiced against any fragrances i'm not being sponsored clearly and neither do i make any money from youtube right so the thing is uh, today it's been a sad day for me a little bit i lost some little amount of money in a scam on the we have a app here mobile banking i lost there it was my fault so i'm kind of down so <laughs> i apologize in the beginning so shafiba here we go your uh, your uh, fragrance sample review so it, they come in i think uh, what's the size of these uh, i think 1.5 mil or something like that this is 2017 release and uh, the bottle picture it's very small here it, it'll look like that all the perfumes de marley beautiful looking bottle black bottle with i believe is silver cap and they actually look i have only one perfumes de marley bottle they kind of on the pricier side 120 mil heavy heavy cap if you you hear that it's it's pure weapon <laughs> it's very heavy cap and heavy bottle so very beautiful presentation on these bottles if you if you get you know they look nice in your collection and in bangladesh i believe you can get them about like less than 200 dollars okay for 220 mil so very reasonable price in bangladesh outside they're much more pricier so carlyle is one of the newer fragrances a beautiful story and then there's a beautiful picture there hints of a handsome gentleman some ladies checking him out so yeah i guess it's in paris as well for distance you can see like eiffel tower right there so yeah it's a nice sort of presentation and let me tell you my thoughts on this fragrance so let me take down two other fragrances i need to show you as i go along to give example right so let's spray this and talk about it, right? Uh, in this hand, I have something I'm wearing. My scent of the evening is Mansara Wild Cherry, one of my favorites. I think Mr. Bond Creed guy, his good, good, great review actually. Uh, he mentioned me a couple of times. He actually reviewed that recent times. So yeah, Mansara line need to be reviewed a little bit more. Yeah. So here we go. Let's spray this. Here is the sample. It says Parfums Dimali official sample, and it's a very yummy fragrance. I tried this before. Okay. Let's go three sprays, okay? I think, yeah, got... It's okay, sometimes they come out, sometimes they don't properly. So this fragrance is very beautiful. I think this is a very uh, sort of a sweet, spicy kind of a fragrance. It's good for cold weather. And it's right away, it's just something of a DNA that I really, really like. I wrote this in Fragrantica that if you did like... Um, from this house, if you did like Herod, if you did like Ojan, if you did like uh, Mansara Red Tobacco, here is other bottle from the Mansara house and also Hani Hafiz's Hafiz 84 because uh, 1984 that is also inspired by Mansara red tobacco so this one to my nose it's a very sweet strong and very nice sort of a almost like a tobacco opening but they mentioned like cardamom so the thing is I'm not sure what the notes break down in Fragrantica but to my nose what I get I'm telling you so if you're familiar with Herod you know Herod opens up this sweet tobacco it's very candy like sweet tobacco i really love it i love the hair smell why well, i didn't buy it it's a wonder <laughs> it didn't last that long on me but from skin to skin they differ but perfumes de marley i noticed one thing their longevity could be spotty at times okay i'm telling you frankly some of the fragrance didn't work with me like godolphin it's a beast mode on me it's like half day uh, some other uh, perfumes de marley like hub done i tried it was very tame very quickly so other people getting beast mode but this one particular one, Carlyle, it's it's one of the better performers. It has good longevity, but on the opening, it's much more louder than on the dry down. After one or two hours, they come on me. This this fragrance comes very close to skin. 
um, and I get like what two hours of projection so longevity is good I'll give it eight out of ten projection I'll give it like let's say seven out of ten it's a cold weather scent I think it's a perhaps it's good for both genders but it's a little bit masculine there's something masculine in it so right now I can detect the cardamom at the background but the opening is kind of like think of Herod think of Zara uh, rich warm and addictive that sort of coconutty sort of a tobacco very sweet thing got tonka in it or something like that and it has some spices to it it's like a little bit woody and the end i think on the dry down what i really get is a toned down version of red tobacco red tobacco is very smoky incensey not incense but smoky sort of tobacco but this one is not the smoke it's cleaner sweeter and uh, much more handsome so i think this is a little bit more refined than red tobacco but red tobacco is way louder it's like loud loud <laughs> if you are projecting cold weather nights red tobacco and hami half is 94 these two are like mm, tobacco veni kind of powerful so this one i would say the performance is good it already i'm getting the red tobacco feel already on the five minutes mark yeah this fragrance it's pretty damn nice if you like that sort of tobacco-ish feel and you are like a little bit of a <clears throat> darkness from a fragrance but it's not too dark not too animalic it's still playful uh, you can give it a try it's a pretty much like a cherry uh, sort of those cigars that you can find you have to make those yourself and smoke them like small cigars this one smells like that and i i can definitely detect that cherry tobacco those packs i forgot the name is it django dingo i forgot the name that there's a brand there they give this nice sort of paper sort of uh, packaging and they put the tobacco separately and paper separately and you have to make them and then uh, you just lick them i'm sorry that's disturbing <laughs> and then make those uh, cigars by yourself when you smoke them you get those nice sort of cherry that you get so this is more like a tobacco like if you like the likes of also pure heaven but pure heaven is a little bit more different okay but it has honey tobacco note so this one i believe has that same sort of dna i really like it's very modern it's a mix of a lot of those other fragrances that i mentioned ojan herod uh, red tobacco so if you want something like in the likes of those so i think you can give it a try carlisle is i think it's pretty damn nice is it a full bottle worthy and not in my book because i have those other two i'm telling you frankly speaking if i have something similar honey half is 1984 and red tobacco i don't think usually i pull my trigger on the full bottle unless they're very unique at this point i'm collecting all the unique ones one has to be different than the other so overall uh, this fragrance really is impressive i like it more than i like nisian nisian is a little bit little bit toned down for me you know i mean it's not like a must buy for me this one is better than isian to my nose it's, it will be getting compliments if you also like kind of like dolce and gamada one edp dna it has that feel it has some sort of a sweetness it's playfulness in there so it's a pretty uh compliment garner sort of fragrance so give it a try give it a try i think in the stores if you find it pdm or if you get a official sample like this i think you'll be able to like make your decision if you want to buy a full bottle or not overall this fragrance i'll give it like 8.5 out of 10 carlisle i really like it i think sebastian zara gets beast mode out of it i didn't get quite beast mode but i get good performance out of it just that it wished a little bit project a little bit more right uh, in our condition perhaps in the winter time with a full bottle it will do better so check out carlisle from perfumes de marley that's my take and uh, that's it pretty much a little bit disoriented today because of that mishap earlier so everybody have a nice day, take care, and uh, keep smelling good. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.